Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little different. If you follow my channel, then you know most of my videos show my dollhouse is already completed. But today I'm going to show you how I build a dollhouse kit from start to finish. The kit that I'm using is the Green Leaf Sugar Plum. This is a very easy kit to build, so if you're new to dollhouses, then this is a good one to start with. This video is only showing you how to assemble the shell. I will show you how I customize my dollhouses with things like stone, stucco, landscaping, and separate videos. So, let's get started. Things you'll need are, of course, the dollhouse kit, which I got at miniatures.com. They have lots of neat accessories and furniture for your dollhouse. You'll also need Eileen's tacky glue, masking tape, something to write with, a utility knife or a craft knife for trimming tabs if needed, and a flathead screwdriver to help you punch out pieces. When you open the box, the first thing you'll see are your instructions. There's a diagram sheet that tells you where all the pieces are. This is a warm-up sheet. It says, don't panic. Don't be alarmed by that. It's in all the kits and it just has some hints and tips that you might find useful. There's a piece of sandpaper and this kit does come with furniture so that's part of the bed frame and here's plastic for the windows i'm going to replace those with something more realistic and i'll show you how i do that in a later video these are shingles for the roof and here are your wood sheets with the pieces that i'll be punching out there are seven numbered sheets, including the ones for the furniture. This is the half timber trim, and as you can see, it's made of cardboard. I'll show you how to make it look like wood at the end of this video. Be sure to read over all your instructions before you begin. The first step is punching out the floor and the front wall. You can see how I use the screwdriver when the piece won't come out easily. Do the same thing for the front wall. Now here I'm punching out the slots for the benches built into the porch, but I decided not to use them, so I really could have just left those. Here's the front door, and I'll just set that aside for now. And here I'm punching out the window, and I'll put these pieces in a baggie. Now it's time to test the fit of the pieces. I'm running a line of glue right along the edges. And also underneath, I like to use plenty of glue and smear it with my finger. Next I remove the left wall and I punch out the bay window pieces and put them in a baggie. I need to test the fit of the walls to see how they go together and make sure all the tabs fit into their slots. I also need to cut this bench off before I glue the wall. Now I can glue this wall to the front wall and the floor. Once I have it in place, I add glue to the joints and the slots. And then I secure the pieces with masking tape. I make sure the pieces are firmly clamped together before taping them. Here I'm reinforcing the pieces 
from the inside. I really like tacky glue because it dries clear and strong so my dollhouse will be nice and sturdy. As I'm test fitting the right wall, I notice that the tab at the bottom doesn't quite fit into the slot so I'll need to widen the slot with my knife. And now it fits, so I can glue and tape the wall. Here I'm cutting the tabs off the porch since I won't be using the benches. If you know you don't want the benches, go ahead and cut these off before you assemble the dollhouse. Now I'm going to punch out and test fit the second floor. Again, there's a tab that doesn't want to play nice, so I'll need to trim it with my utility knife. Now the floor fits perfectly, so there will be no gaps and everything will be nice and square. Now I can add glue to the edges. Once the floor is in place, I add glue to the underside and clamp it securely with tape. The next step is adding the back walls. I test fit, glue, and tape just like before. Here I'm gluing on the foundation strip. I add tape and leave it to dry. Now it's time for the back roof to go on. Now I'm going to add my bay window walls. If you plan to use wallpaper, you should do that before gluing these pieces. This is the bay window roof. I'm actually not gluing this on now because the half timber trim has to go on first. I'll set it aside for now. So moving on to the chimney. Now the directions tell you to glue the chimney flat against the wall, but I wanted some depth to mine, so I glued on these strips of wood. Yeah, that looks better. The chimney will be attached a little later on in the build. Here's the front roof. I'm making sure I get plenty of glue on all the joints. and then I cramp it with tape. Now I'm putting on the gable roof pieces, again applying lots of glue in the joints and then taping them together. with the shell of the dollhouse. Now it's time to work on the half timbered trim. Like I said earlier, this is cardboard, but I'm going to make it look more like wood. 
I'm carefully separating the pieces with my craft knife. Here I'm just putting it on the house to see how it fits. To give it a wood grain texture, I'm cutting random lines with my craft knife. Here's how it looks up close. I'm going to add color with the combination of brown and gray craft paint and mini wax wood stain. I'll list the colors that I use down in the description box. I start with one light coat of the brown paint. Then I lightly dab on some gray in random spots to keep the color from looking flat. Now I go over the whole thing with the light coat of the wood stain. This gives it a deep rich brown and there's some variation in the color too. I make sure to cover all the edges and corners. Be sure to use this in a well ventilated area because it is quite strong. Here's how it looks. Well, that's it for this segment of the dollhouse build. In the next video, I'll show you how to apply stonework using styrofoam cups. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching.